Chemotherapy-Induced Acral Erythema, Wikipedia Article Audio Chemotherapy-Induced Acral Erythema is reddening, swelling, numbness and desquamation on palms of the hands and solace of the feet that can occur after chemotherapy in patients with cancer. Hand-foot syndrome is also rarely seen in sickle cell disease. These skin changes usually are well demarcated. Acral erythema typically disappears within a few weeks after discontinuation of the offending drug. Signs and Symptoms Causes Pathogenesis Diagnosis Prevention Treatment Prognosis History In popular culture the symptoms can occur anywhere between days to months after administration of the offending medication, depending on the dose and speed of administration. The patient first experiences tingling and slash or numbness of the palms and solace that evolves into painful, symmetric and well-demarcated swelling and red plagues. This is followed by peeling of the skin and resolution of the symptoms. Acral erythema is a common adverse reaction to cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs, particularly cabazantinib, cytarabine, doxorubicin, and fluorouracil and its prodrug capsidabine. Targeted cancer therapies, especially the tyrosine kinase inhibitors sorafenib and sunitinib, have also been associated with a high incidence of acral erythema. However, Acral erythema due to tyrosine kinase inhibitors seems to differ somewhat from acral erythema due to classic chemotherapy drugs. The cause of PPE is unknown. Existing hypotheses are based on the fact that only the hands and feet are involved and posit the role of temperature differences, vascular anatomy, differences in the types of cells. In the case of PPE caused by PLD, the following mechanism has been demonstrated, sweat deposits and spreads the drug on the skin surface, then the drug penetrates into the stratum corneum like an external agent, palms and solace have high density of sweat glands, and their stratum corneum is approximately 10 times thicker than the rest of the body, and becomes an efficient long-term reservoir for the penetrating PLD which was deposited on the skin before. Painful red swelling of the hands and feet in a patient receiving chemotherapy is usually enough to make the diagnosis. The problem can also arise in patients after bone marrow transplants, as the clinical and histologic features of PPE can be similar to cutaneous manifestations of acute graft-versus-host disease. It is important to differentiate PPE, which is benign, from the more dangerous graft versus host disease. As time progresses, patients with graft versus host disease progress to have other body parts affected, while PPE is limited to hands and feet. Serial biopsies every three to five days can also be helpful in differentiating the two disorders. The cooling of hands and feet during chemotherapy may help prevent PPE. Support for this and a variety of other approaches to treat or prevent acral erythema comes from small clinical studies, although none has been proven in a randomized controlled clinical trial of sufficient size. The main treatment for acral erythema is discontinuation of the offending drug and symptomatic treatment to provide analgesia, lessen edema, and prevent superinfection. However, the treatment for the underlying cancer of the patient must not be neglected. Often, the discontinued drug can be substituted with another cancer drug or cancer treatment. Symptomatic treatment can include wound care, elevation, and pain medication. Corticosteroids and pyridoxine have also been used to relieve symptoms. Other studies do not support the conclusion.
A number of additional remedies are listed in recent medical literature. Among them henna and 10% uridine ointment which went through clinical trial. PPE invariably recurs with the resumption of chemotherapy. Long-term chemotherapy may also result in reversible pomoplantar keratoderma. Symptoms resolve 1-2 weeks after cessation of chemotherapy. Hand-foot syndrome was first reported in association with chemotherapy by Zulka in 1974. Synonyms for acral erythema include, hand-foot syndrome, palmar plantar erythrodysesthesia, peculiar AE, chemotherapy-induced AE, toxic erythema of the palms and solace, palmar plantar erythema, and Bergdorf's reaction. Common abbreviations are HFS and PPE. In Season 3, Episode 8, titled Sins of the Father, in the American television medical drama Private Practice, hand-foot syndrome is depicted, possibly inaccurately, in a patient. This episode first aired on November 19, 2009.